State's preparing for November, and the boards of elections are expecting a big turnout for the election. Local boards have started getting directives from the Secretary of State asking them to start removing inactive voters from their lists. It's called a voter purge. Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow shares what you can do to make sure you can vote. Ohioans are gearing up for the presidential election. It's very important to vote. Um, got a lot of decisions to make. Mary Jo Bainline votes in every one. It's my right. I think I have a say. But not everyone does, like All Cynthia Hatcher. Mostly not the preliminaries. Mostly November mm -hmm. is when I really look forward to voting. Now, county boards of elections are trying to warn the infrequent voters to check their registration. A voter purge is just really a, an opportunity for us to keep our voter rolls clean. Really Secretary of State uh, Frank LaRose has just ordered local officials to start removing inactive voters. Well, Anthony Callagher with the Cuyahoga County here, BOE yeah. explains this happens every few years. If you change your mailing address and don't vote for four years, your voters status could be canceled. And even if you don't move, but you don't vote for six years, you could also be purged. There's a lot of checks and balances to make sure that people who are registered, who do, who do live in Cuyahoga County, do not unfairly or prematurely get um, canceled. Boards of elections will send out mail numerous times to try to get you to confirm your address and voter status. If you respond, they'll keep you on. You can also go to your local office or give them a call to ask about your status. Although he didn't last year, LaRose is supposed to put out a list of everyone he's removing from the rolls before the deadline. But you can always go to the Secretary of State website to look up to see if you're still registered. Hatcher says this isn't fair and is urging everyone to make sure they're still on the rolls. Why should someone else say that they don't? You know, make that judge, make call just because they haven't showed up. It might be some reason that they didn't or they couldn't make it or something. But, if you find out you've been removed, the deadline to re-register to vote is October 7th. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.